and welcome back to my channel. We have another sit down video. We are doing the second trimester recap, update, whatever you want to call it. We're doing it a little bit closer to when I actually exited the second trimester because if y'all watched the first trimester update, you will see that I did not do that until I was like almost out of the second trimester. So I was I was very late but we're a little bit on top of it this time just a little we're still a few weeks out I'm when I'm filming this I'm just 30 weeks pregnant which is insane to me I know I say this in every video I talk about my pregnancy I cannot believe that I am like almost to the end um, also we have a random background I'm sitting on the floor in front of our like cabinet closets so yeah we have a new situation in our room we got rid of our couch so there's like nothing in here it's like very open so hopefully the audio is okay i'm not very centered but we're just gonna go with it we only have so much time because you know gotta do it while homeboy is napping hopefully the lighting will be better this time it was kind of all over the place in my last video so hopefully this is fine and we're just gonna get right on into it and keep this as short as possible there for a lot of people the second trimester is very calm and blissful and just there's like no symptoms and you get all this energy unfortunately this pregnancy and last my second trimester has not been a breeze honestly it's it is probably one of the hardest trimesters which sounds really silly i know a lot of people like the first trimester and the third are the, the hardest not in my case which is totally fine i am so thankful for this pregnancy and it will take any symptom that comes my way um that's what we're going to talk about in the video is all my symptoms and things and cravings and random stuff like that um it's kind of hard because i feel like i've been like in the second trimester forever like, i feel like the second trimester lasted so dang long anybody else feel that way when they're pregnant i know the third trimester usually drags on um because you have like an estimate of when it's gonna end but i don't know it's just second one man it just feels long so, unfortunately for me symptoms hit hard at this trimester i will say i did have more energy than the first trimester i was still tired but not as tired which is great um i was able to sleep relatively well during the second trimester and i mean i started getting a bump so that definitely changes the dynamic of sleeping but it's all good we um, will also be talking about must-haves so that'll that'll come up again with sleep and everything but first symptom migraines so i've talked about this before i think i talked about this in my first trimester migraines hit so hard during pregnancy and i don't know what it is it's the hormones or something i know a lot of women can get headaches and migraines but oh man oh man they hit so dang hard i literally feel like i get knocked out when i get a migraine during pregnancy it's so bad and during the second trimester thankfully there's medication that i can take um that is pregnancy safe but by the third trimester like you have to limit or not take those medications anymore which makes it so difficult but second trimester the migraines hit hard i feel like i got one to two every like i probably got one a week um some weeks twice a week or some yeah some weeks i would get it twice so it was very difficult especially if james is working and it's just me and hendy at home like it is so difficult but the nice thing was the medication that i could take and now that i'm in the third trimester i'm like oh i should not have complained about my migraines because at least i was able to take something and now i feel like i have nothing um so a little glimpse into the third trimester the migraines haven't gone away <laughs> another one is acid reflux y'all acid reflux and heartburn when they team up with on like they team up together against you it's just like oh it's uh, so hard to get comfortable and it always is worse at night than during the day like i'll get it in the morning um throughout the day whatever but at night as soon as i go to lay down that's when they get so bad and i don't lay down flat but oh my gosh that it sucks and so thankfully acid reflux medicine tums those kinds of things exist and are pregnancy safe so i was taking those and um i still am whenever i get it but oh my gosh in the second trimester it's it was so difficult i feel like i could not even drink water i feel like it was going to make me feel like i was on fire if you've had acid reflux or heartburn it's like just fire i just like feel like i ate 
a bowl of fire and it's so incredibly uncomfortable so that was a fun one again i feel like a lot of these like women experience in their first trimester and then the second they're like oh so this is a really easy recap because nothing nothing really happened like everything went away and now i'm like just living my best life and i'm like nope <laughs> not me not me next one is round ligament pain the growth of the belly i started to get a bump in the middle of the second trimester i feel like it took quite a while some days i feel like i look like i had a bump and then other days i didn't um i'll show you like the first real bump pic that i took and then the last bump pic that i took of the second trimester so kind of compare and contrast i feel like i really didn't have a bump for a while and once i started getting one oh my gosh around ligament pain was intense which is so weird i totally thought that my body just like remembered all this because i was pregnant not that long ago with hendrix but i feel like i'm like pregnant for the first time and my body has no idea what's going on which is which is really really fun yeah um the next one is braxton hicks contractions and that one at the beginning of my second trimester i wasn't sure if that's what it was but then after couple of weeks experiencing it and talking to my doctor she's like yeah that's probably Braxton Hicks and I'm like yep that's probably it uh, I didn't really have this with Hendrix I did a little bit but nothing like I do now um, I actually had really bad pain for like a week and I honestly was kind of worried that I was going into labor because I honestly can't remember what contractions like actual contractions feel like because I had the balloon down there in the cervix so it was that that i was focusing on i know some women that they, they get the balloon they don't experience it or like experience the pain that i was experiencing and like they don't even notice it um at least that's how my sister kind of prepped me for she's like yeah i didn't even really notice it it's not a big deal but when i got it oh my gosh you guys it was so uncomfortable and painful and like i didn't really even feel pain here i just felt pain down there so then i ended up getting the epidural <laughs> Praise the Lord for epidurals. But yeah, Braxton Hicks contractions and like whatever I was experiencing for that one week. I, I don't even know if it was Braxton Hicks or what, but it was a pain, cramping, tightness. And I literally, it would just come and go. And I was like researching if it was contractions. And I know you're not supposed to Google things. Just email your doctor. Don't break yourself out. But I like could not help myself. I was so confused as to why I was feeling this way. And again, it's like my body had never been pregnant before. <laughs> it's like all this new stuff that I was not expecting. So that was just a real fun time. Luckily, it went away and all is well. I have Braxton Hicks from time to time, but nothing like that one week. Oh my gosh, it was terrifying. I was like 27 weeks pregnant. No, 26 weeks, almost 27 weeks pregnant. And having this pain and i was like oh my gosh i am gonna have this baby before i'm even in the third trimester like what <sighs> sorry water break next one of my symptoms i don't know it's not really a symptom it's just kind of like something that happened is uh acne did not get any better in the second trimester um again some people say in the second trimester their acne gets better their nausea is better all that kind of stuff acne got worse i feel like in the second trimester and it's like it's at sort of bay right now it's like sort of better but like not really it's still there um but there were some painful ones and i've never had like really great skin but the acne got real bad and then nausea yep nausea is a thing for me no throwing up this pregnancy i have thrown up zero times and so thank the lord um but the nausea is so intense and again at night so i've been taking unison which is really great because it helps me just kind of like rest easier um but oh my gosh the nausea hits different in the second trimester for me i have oh my gosh peed so many times <laughs> in a day it's ridiculous like i'll pee and then i'll stand up i'll like wash up get, go out of the room and then i'll have to pee again literally the struggle and of course you know i'm trying to stay hydrated to keep away the migraines just to keep my skin better just to make myself feel better and then i'm like literally peeing all the time and it's like a whole thing it's like it's just like a whole ordeal we'll get ready to go for a walk and i would like pee get my shoes on all the things get outside and be like okay wait babe stay with hendrix i gotta pee and i'll come back inside and pee and then like halfway through the walk i'm like oh crap i gotta pee <laughs> it's like a 45 minute walk it's ridiculous like seriously i feel like all i did 
during my second trimester was pee and it was just fun so that's <laughs> been really exciting just peeing all the time oh i don't know if this is technically what it's called lightning crotch i don't know we were on a walk towards the beginning middle of my second trimester and all of a sudden it was like bam down in that region and it was like literally it sounds like it would be lightning crotch because that's what it felt like like a bolt of something and it like didn't last long at all but it, when it happened it like caught me off guard and i had to like stop and like put my legs together it like totally threw me off james was like oh my gosh what's wrong and i was like i have no idea what just happened like and i had to google it and i was like is this lightning crotch because i've heard of it but i didn't have it with hendrix's pregnancy so it was like <laughs> freaked me out and now i feel like either that's what i experience all the time during my second trimester that's what i felt or it was something else but i don't know if it's like her positioning she was breached i don't know if she still like remained breached that was at 20 weeks so i don't know the rest of the second trimester if she was still breached but oh my gosh sometimes i feel like it's just like her feet or her hands or something are just going like this on my bladder and like it's like the weirdest feeling because we'll be on a, it's usually when we're on a walk and we've been doing like two mile walks almost every day and <laughs> i feel like out of nowhere she'll just like we'll be walking everything's great and then i'll just have to like cross my legs because she'll just be like pitter pattering all over my bladder and it's like the weirdest feeling like oh my gosh i'm gonna pee myself um okay no i'm fine okay no i'm gonna pee myself like it was it's so bizarre it got to the point where james almost called my parents to come pick me up because we were like pretty far from home like almost a mile from home and which isn't even that far but when you're pregnant it kind of is um he thought like i was gonna pee myself so that was just that, I don't know if that's lightning crotch too. I'm honestly not sure. It's not painful. It's just out of nowhere. And it doesn't like last very long. Like if we continue the walk for like another half a mile, she'll ease up and it'll be fine. I don't know what it is. But if y'all have experienced that, please let me know because it is bizarre. I tell James all the time. I'm like, I wish you could feel what it feels like because it's so strange. Like I can't even put into words like what it actually feels like except for the fact that like maybe it's like she's dancing on my bladder but that's literally it so those are all the symptoms i feel like for the most part that's kind of all the symptoms i had I'm going over my little listy do because you know if i don't write it down i will forget did the gender reveal on december 19th so i was in the second trimester i wanted to wait until 20 weeks but we decided to do it a little bit sooner just because my family was so eager. Um, we did the blood test to find out the gender and I was just kind of hesitant to know or to, for it to be wrong or something because I've heard so many stories, even to this day, so many stories where women do the blood test and then they find out at the 20 week ultrasound like oh no it's not that it's this and obviously we're gonna be happy either way like even if this whole time we thought it was a girl and it comes out and it's a boy like we will still love the grab out of this baby and it doesn't change any of that at all but it, it would throw me for a freaking huge loop i'll tell you that much because i've i've been um shopping for bows and things but um it's fine we'll save it for the next one but i was just so hesitant and nervous and at the ultrasound lo and behold it's a girl so again either way great but i just really now i'm like kind of hanging on to the idea that this is our daughter and we already have her name picked out since before we were pregnant so we've been calling her by her name we've been praying over her using her name and so it's just now it's in our heads that it's a girl so if it changes <laughs> we'll let you guys know but we waited to do the gender reveal as long as we could and i have that video i'll link it up here for you guys so you can check it out um it's such a special video and i actually just watched it again the other day because it makes me so happy and i just think it's such a precious time and yeah such a such a light in our lives and i feel like hendrix is going to be the best big brother in general if it was a boy or a girl but especially since it's a little girl i just think it's going to be so stinking Cute. seeing them together it's gonna be the best thing ever so i want to talk about must-haves i only have a few um but one is this i showed you guys i was drinking water earlier i saw this on a blogger's instagram she's also pregnant and it's actually really cool we were pregnant together for our first pregnancies and now we're like a couple days apart from each other in this pregnancy so it's been really fun but she mentioned this cup and i just like had to have it so james got it for me for my birthday it's from target and i will link it and anything else i talk about um 
in my life to know it so i'll have that link in the description um but this cup is so good like i literally told james like for days afterwards i was like this is the best cup ever i'm so happy it's from target it keeps it cold it's 40 ounces it's great okay my memory card ran out of space so doing this in one shot was not meant to be but only a few more things and then i'll stop talking your ear off try to make this short but y'all i talk way too much as you can tell um pregnancy pillow definitely a must have like i said sleep thankfully i was able to sleep during my second trimester as my bump was growing the pregnancy pillow has been a game changer i'll show you a picture right here just so i don't have to like lug it over here it is kind of big but it's so 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 good and i think it makes just everything so much more comfortable um makes me feel just so good it does take up quite a bit bit of your bed so if you don't have a king size bed it might be a little snug but not impossible it's not impossible just tell your significant other to just like scoot over a little bit for a few weeks it's fine another must have for me was also unisom like i mentioned it does help with sleep as well but for my nausea mainly i know people do mix that with like a vitamin b something um i haven't been taking that vitamin i just take the unisom but that does help with the nausea i at least for me and it does help with sleep as well so that is one of my like must-haves medication wise if you're experiencing migraines definitely talk to your doctor but i was taking excedrin migraine uh in my second trimester and that is the only thing that would help and now that i'm in my third i can't take it anymore but if your doctor approves of it definitely see if you can take it if you have migraines um again talk to your doctor your doctor might say absolutely not your doctor might say you could take it your whole pregnancy like every doctor is so different so do your own research and ask your doctor but it's been a must-have for me for the second trimester and definitely something i couldn't live without and i wish i could take it now one other thing sorry this is the last must-have are my leggings which are the lululemon aligns which i know are so pricey but they are so worth it i'm wearing them now and i'm in the third trimester i have worn them my entire pregnancy they grow with you they stretch they're comfy they're so soft and i have the um full length ones and then i have the shorter ones uh, that come up just above your ankle i can't remember i'm wearing the ones that are shorter right now i but i can't remember what number they are so i'll link them for you as well they are super comfortable and breathable and they're like literally what i've worn like every day of this pregnancy 10 out of 10 recommend so comfortable and you can wear them before you're pregnant after you're pregnant and during so it's something that i definitely swear by especially during pregnancy when you just don't want to wear pants let me know if any of these symptoms were the same that you had as well in your second trimester or if you are pregnant congratulations let me know um the symptoms you're experiencing at whatever stage you're at it's so exciting getting to film this and i know again a lot of people experience bliss in their second trimester so if you're hoping to get pregnant and you're like what the second trimester is crap too a lot of women don't have that experience so just i'm just one of the lucky few but I will say, again, I love being pregnant. I love growing this little life inside of me. And I do not take it for granted at all. Um, so even though I've experienced all these different weird symptoms, I will take it 100% every day. So hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.